We need to ensure that legislation designed to provide equal rights for two persons to marry, regardless of their gender, does not inadvertently entrench a new inequality against those whose religious or conscientious beliefs align with a centuries-old framework of marriage. So while I will vote yes to the final bill, regardless of which amendments are adopted by this House, as the Treasurer and Member for Cook said in this place, it is now time to pass a truly inclusive bill, one that recognises the views of 100 per cent of Australians, not just 61 per cent. In closing, may I reflect on my first speech to this chamber. I said that I have a strong belief that the family is the bedrock of Australian society and that we need to do everything we can to strengthen those families. I still believe this holds true and that's by supporting our families in whatever form they may take as the most fundamental institution for the development of the individual, we are taking care of our nation's future. It is my sincere hope that with this legislation enacted in the Australian Parliament to allow same-sex couples to marry, that the focus of the Australian Parliament and indeed our nation becomes how we can continue to work on supporting and strengthening Australian families. In the future, when each one of us has long since left this place, my hope is that the mark of our maturity as a nation will be our emphasis on honouring and strengthening our families and defending the freedoms which are so deeply ingrained in our national identity. It is a hope I believe we can build on firm foundations and a hope in which I am personally convicted through my lifelong belief and faith in my God. To those for whom the postal survey was not the outcome they voted for, Rest assured, I will continue to fight to ensure that your freedoms are protected and our families are strengthened to benefit our Australian society and our future. Madam Deputy Speaker, this is indeed an historic moment wherever you sit on the spectrum of views on same-sex marriage, and I thank the House for the opportunity to take part in the debate.